morning, folks. How y'all doing? <laughs> it's pretty much common knowledge. There are certain things that the old Spectre here cannot get enough of. One, Skimpy Moth for any Bethesda game that come out post-Oblivion. Good sci-fi, which is one of the reasons I'm right now binge-watching both Star Trek The Next Generation and Deep Space Nine on Netflix. And, of course... This being October, I'm talking about horror movies. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I love me a good scare. Which is one of the reasons I'm also playing through Resident Evil 2 again. May just decide to live stream some of that, but it's not the case entirely. But in the horror genre, there are several different subgenres that some of them I really enjoy. If you give me a good supernatural horror film, for example, like The Exorcist, I will be glued to my seat. And then there's slasher flicks. Ah, yes, slasher flicks. <laughs> some of them have been entertaining. Some of them just outright and insane. Some of them boring on just downright asinine. But, here's something that really gets to me. And this is, goes back to a ad that Geico ran where you have these teenagers in a horror movie. One says, let's go hide, let's go hide in the uh, basement. One says, why can't we just take the already running car? Then one guy says, okay, let's go hide behind the chainsaws. Good idea. <laughs> no, that's not a good idea. If you're being chased down by a psychotic murderer, what you need to do is you need to take, take, I'm going to, let me get my thought together right here. Why is it that in a lot of these slasher flicks, and I'm not talking about Jason, Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, you know, the supernat, the ones that have gone from being human to downright supernatural. I'm talking about the ones like Leatherface in Texas Chainsaw Massacre or Jigsaw in the Saw films. Why is it that no one ever thought to give these guys what they really need? That being a buckshot lobotomy from both barrels of a 12-gauge coach gun? That could have solved their problems right then and there. I'm going to reference a line from Clint Eastwood in the great film Dirty Harry where he says that the 44 Magnum could blow somebody's head clean off. <laughs> so can both barrels of a 12 gauge shotgun. And then <laughs> Leatherface is no face. But then again, this probably goes back to Hollywood's complete disdain for the Second Amendment, but I'll save the political th the political talk for later. This is just a question about how some of the some of the writing in these horror films just doesn't make sense. <laughs> Cause really, if you look at the ones where these where the killer is not so much is not really a supernatural threat like for example Jason Voorhees Michael Myers or Freddy Krueger where the killer is just pure and simple human being psychopath how come no one ever thinks to just blow the son of a bitch's head off with a shotgun and be done with it Give me your thoughts on the. Uh, give me your thoughts, please. <laughs> I really want to hear what you got to say. 
until then, folks, as I always have to say, keep on being awesome. Have a blessed day, and I will see you when I see you.